Well, Rob is, you know, a broken character, so good on Hayes for, you know, playing a stress-free character like Rob. That's gotta be nice. Uh, Numbers, also a very, very uh, avid Rob hater, does not like this character. Granted, still has ample, ample experience being, you know, a member of the New York Smash scene. So we'll have to see um, how Numbers fares up. I hear, yeah. I think Numbers is mostly gonna wanna. They're not gonna really wanna box with Rob too much. You know, it's just not a battle you're gonna be winning as long as the Rob's like pressing that down tilt uh, somewhat with the brain cell. Um, and so, yeah, it definitely Numbers is winning this, uh, winning this game all in the advantage and all in the ledge play. Um, you know, Wii Fit is a character who's super strong on ledge, one of the few characters that kind of likes to be on ledge. Um, and Rob's a character that normally likes to, you know, kill people when they're on the ledge, so it's an interesting dynamic seeing um, how these characters interact. Oof, really clean stuff. Dash back um, to bait out the roll, or dashing in to bait out the roll, and then dashing right back, and oh, that could just do it. Dashing right back. Yeah, with deep breathing, gonna very comfortably live that side B. And numbers. We're seeing the Rob experience come out right here as he can just very easily pick up the gyro, toss it around. Not really any thought to it. Oof. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that was coming out. It's really tough because you want to land right there, but that will cover the whole airspace. So unless you like super hard call it out with like a side beam, maybe, it's, it's looking rough. Yeah, trying to read that jump, but numbers, you know, numbers is fine to just chill near the ledge. They're not super urgent to get back on stage, like most characters. That was a weird interaction. Um, somehow, you know, We Fit does have a weakness in their hurt bo or their hitboxes. You know, kind of, uh, kind of tiny, kind of really thin hitboxes. So you can have stuff like that happen. But still, a stock lead from numbers right here. Um, deep breathing on deck. And yeah, look at this. Numbers are just fine standing on ledge. Good call out from Hayes, though. Ooh, but that is just a very quick 50%. 60 now. Three moves. Yeah, good stuff from Numbers. Knowing the only way they're going to super easily die there is if they get um, spiked. So actually opting to see the platform, um, which is something, you know, not everyone's going to instantly be thinking to cover. So clean stuff. Once again, showing their experience in this matchup. And that's the thing with, like, kind of picking up top tiers is like, yeah, Rob's broken, but also everyone knows how to fight Rob, so you got to have something going for you that people aren't ready for. Wow. Yeah, we fit speed with deep breathing's really crazy right there. Um, we saw numbers close out the first stock, doing a dash back and forth, baiting out an option, and right there, dashing to ledge, being like, oh, you're gonna try and bite. You're gonna try and up air this because you're a Rob and you love up airing from ledge. And so knowing that, dashes back, dashes back and forth, and the speed able to whiff punish that with two dashes. That's the power of deep breathing, I think. And Hayes switching up the color, going green Rob. Not big on the green Rob skin, I'll be honest. So. Ooh, this could be scary. And now Hayes. Bit smarter with this uh, ledge trapping and edge guarding, waiting for numbers to do something because numbers has been opting for like really tricky options that are punishable, but not if you're not ready for them. So Hayes opting to react on ledge instead of going for something immediately. That's really good stuff.
Wow, he was gonna take the first stock, and that's so important. Uh, like numbers himself was saying in Matt in like double defensive matchups where both players play really defensively. The first stock is so crucial. That being said, unlike you know pure zoners, WeFit has that explosive kill power with DP, so able to even it out right there. This is scary though. Ooh, good stuff. Ooh. Seventy-seven on both. Good DI from numbers. If wrong DI there might have been death. But it's really tough to DI that move. Oh, and knowing how much lags on that, able to neutral get up and just F smash it. Now numbers is looking a lot more confident. Um, just kind of got a bunch of hits right there. Yeah, not giving Hayes anything, just not dashing in right there. Ooh, read that roll in, but it's timed. No confidence in the world though can save you from that jump back air. Going for uh going for a dash attack pun or get up attack punish. Just totally getting exploded, and that's gonna kill very early. Once again though, you mean it up right away without taking any percent. And this has been a, such a back and forth game, so even. Ooh, but this could be a string. 53 like that. And now Numbers playing it back on ledge right here. But Hayes, not giving Numbers too much breathing room. Good stuff. That was really, really smart. Covering the neutral get up with your recovery and then fading back to the platform. But once again, Hayes just pressing buttons, but actually the spamming of that Nair was able to have numbers know exactly when Hayes was going to throw it out and get that uh, interruption right there because you can't stop Rob's neutral hit before it comes out. And that's a dead Rob. What an explosion right there from that. The key is to focus on your balance. The key is to focus on your balance. And that is the game good stuff from numbers just knowing knowing rob counterplay really well um kind of just classic stuff and um 